Now that we've figured out our standard error of the mean, which is 0.6 in this matter, we can go ahead and figure out the probabilities of scores. Now let's say somebody asks us within this pre-established data set uh, what the probability is that a given student is going to score uh, more than 101.2. So let's set this up mathematically. X is greater than 101.2. I also want to draw it. We've got our mean of 100. Uh, this problem is asking us 101.2 asking us to find this area of the normal curve. So to do this, we have to standardize our scores and do what's called a z-score. To do the z-score, you're going to take your score, which is 101.2, minus your mean, which is 100, and put that over your standard deviation, which is 0.6. Uh, 101.2 minus 100, that gives us 1.2 over 0.6, which dividing that all out gives us 2. We have to use a z-score chart to look up z of 2, and if we do that, it gives us a number of 0.9772. Now here's the mistake you're going to make you're going to try to turn this in as your number. You're going to say, oh, 97% of students are going to score. But that's not right. Z-scores give us the number to the left. This is very important to always remember. Uh, and you'll notice that we're trying to find out the number to the right. Z-score gives us the number to the left. We take for granted that the normal curve is equivalent to 1. So in order to figure out the scores to the right, we're going to take the number 1 minus 0.9772, which gives us 0 0.0228. Now just again, z-scores give us the number to the left. We're trying to figure out greater than, which is to the right. So we're using the number 1, which is what the normal curve is representative of, minus our z-score, and that gives us 0 0.0228. So we can say roughly, if we convert this into a percentage, 2.28% uh, of our students are going to score better than 101.2.